praying the rosary with kids. Is it possible? Can you do it? Should you do it? No. Yeah. The end. Hey, we're Jackie and Bobby Angel with Ascension Presents. Today we're talking about praying the rosary with kids. We have little ones, they are crazy, and some of you may as well. And the question of can I even have a prayer time in this crazy season, let alone pray something meditative like the rosary, sometimes it's just like, how? How can, I, how can it be done? And, and we know the struggle. First of all, we know the struggle. It's chaos, it's beautiful chaos. But we're here to share a little bit of how we've figured out to make an attempt. And just some encouragement for those of you who have kids who are under the age of reason. So the age of reason, you know, between five and seven, five and eight, you'll, you'll know when you get there, trust me. Um, but for those of you whose kids aren't there yet, oh, buckle up, buttercup. No, no, it, it's, it'll get better. That's what we're here to say to you. Like when they hit that age of reason, it's wonderful. Before the age of reason, they literally don't have the part of their brain that regulates emotion. So they're like little drunk people. So imagine trying to pray the rosary with little drunk people, <laughs> running around, crying, screaming, using the rosary as a weapon. Um, as Padre Pio said, it's, it's a, the rosary is a weapon for these times. Not a physical weapon, a spiritual weapon, but with our kids, it is a physical weapon. It is, it is. And so I just want to encourage you, uh, with the, for those of you who have kids under the age of reason, it gets easier, it gets a little better. We kind of have two who are at the age of reason and two who are under the age of reason. and. So it's chaos. It's very chaotic to try to pray a family but, rosary. But the beautiful witness of making an attempt, making a, a good college try at it, you know, God sees the effort, God sees the struggle, and it's more important that we show up however imperfectly and that we pray together as a family and make an attempt to than we do it perfectly. The kids are not necessarily seeing the beatific vision as they maybe, run. Maybe they are. Maybe they are, <laughs> but as they run around the room and they hit each other, just that witness of like, my family thinks that this is important enough to do, to slow down, yeah. to take time with. And many of the saints and those on the way to sainthood, like St. Therese or Venerable Fulton Sheen, remember praying the rosary as kids with their families. As Father Patrick Payton said, the family that prays together stays together. So there's the divine ordering of our families that of like this is important for these graces as well as for us modeling to our families the importance of slowing down and taking time outside of Sunday Mass to honor the Lord and, and attempt to pray this together. So it's, yeah. it's more important than just doing it imperfectly than expecting perfection. And there's a phrase that more is caught than taught when it comes to the faith, and that's absolutely true. Our kids see our witness and they see, oh, this is important to mom and dad, that prayer is important to mom and dad. and, and we know that like, you know, the family that prays together stays together. That's true. Although <laughs> you could pray the rosary every single day as a family. And if how you behave outside of that time, your kids are seeing like, hmm, my parents pray the rosary yet. We're, they're still doing this, this. They're still angry. They're still, it's like the whole point is to, is to love Jesus, right? Is to love Jesus. Prayer is about growing your relationship with Jesus. It's modeling it. It's showing that we love our faith so much that it's not just an hour on, on Sundays, but it's our whole life. So praying the rosary, it's like, wow, dad loves Jesus and he honors Jesus's mother. And so it's showing our love for God, not that it's just, we have to do this because of whatever, Cause, right? Cause, can that, Cause that can backfire big time. You don't want to be too rigid and get too angry when the kids are being kids that they end up hating the devotion. Right. So right. we don't want to that be, can happen. And it, I know people who it has happened, right? We have to learn how to laugh and know how, how like just. Kids to, are kids. Kids are kids. And they're age appropriate things that kids do. And so it's okay. Just all expectations we have for this, like we're all going to be levitating together. Those just have to fall. Those expectations have to die. <laughs> so how? Like how? How do we do this? How do you do it? And this is yeah. where every family is unique and you're going to have to figure it out. Because maybe you didn't grow up with the rosary. Maybe you didn't grow up with this devotion. Or it was just kind of on the periphery. It was hanging from the rear view mirror. But we never actually prayed it. Or it was glow in the dark. I had one of those when I was 10, a glow in the dark rosary. So first of all, there's, there's lots of videos. There's lots of great tutorials and ways that other people are praying the rosary. And you can follow along on audio because we've done that in the car or even at home. Sometimes we'll just put on the audio of the rosary. And so the kids are kind of, they're hearing it. They're letting it wash over them before we expect perfection in the prayers, let's say. So 
learn that again, the Ascension has some videos too of how do I pray the rosary. So if you didn't grow up with it, that's great. Just, you can be honest, say kids, I'm learning this too. Uh, I didn't grow up with it, but I think this is important for us as a family to pray this regularly together. I didn't know how to pray the rosary until I was 18 years old, friends. So just so you know, I, did, I knew Hail Mary beads are our father beads. That was it. And so when I was 18, I learned how, how to pray the rosary. But we have learned with little kids, what are some ways that are, you know, help, help? So one of them is pictures, having the pictures of the mystery. So we have a couple books that actually have for each different mystery of the rosary, pictures and it's very so we have one of the kids <laughs> we participation right like one of the kids holds the picture maybe they read the little scripture verse or the little blurb about what the mystery of Jesus's life is and then um, we take turns especially for our older kids but what age did could we say like three four they could actually start saying the prayers yeah and, and even Johnny, if it's, our Johnny's four and he can say a Hail Mary so even if it's nonsensical you can tell when Hail they're Mary full voice you know void with the i mean like that's how it's cute and it's yeah it's just let it be the rhythm of the family yeah. you also don't have to do the entire rosary at once yes. there's some days or evenings where everyone's just going crazy and all we're going to do is a decade we're going to do on our father and 10 hail marys the glory be and that's it we're not going to expect to go the whole way and that's great because again, yeah, it's two the, mysteries, three as many as you, you know. What, it's what the you, daily little perseverance. Yeah, yeah. So pictures help. Maybe doing a few decades of the rosary, not doing the whole thing until maybe your kids get older, and then it's going to get easier. Okay. Um, well, important too that in and we live in such an entertainment time, and yes. that it's it's a act of quiet and it slows down and so sometimes kids are bored and so they're squirmy and it's like, but this is good. Like we can push them to, ha they can handle more than we think they can. Yeah, they're not just squirmy, they're they're running. That We literally had one kid oh, they're running was, laps. Yeah. who was running Hail Mary full of grace, like doing laps like she was in a race or something. It was like, okay, Lord, bear, bear me strength. <laughs> and then doing a suplex on their, on their sibling on their while sibling. swinging the rows around and hitting them. You can, as Jackie said, participation. Yeah. You can divvy it up. Like one kid gets the first decade, the second kid gets the second. Well, the other holds a picture, the other holds a crucifix. They all feel like they're involved here. Yeah, we have a crucifix that one of the kids will hold. Again, just something to do, something tactile. <laughs> uh, usually the two-year-old loves to do it and walk around the house. They also have chewable rosaries. There's a lot of companies that make like food grade silicone that they can eat, like like toddlers. Chew on. Like they don't chew on. Well, they don't, yeah, they don't eat them. <laughs> There's like slobbering, you no, know, they're no, teething. No. Um, we also, one thing that we did that was cute and helpful was to teach them that every Hail Mary is like offering a rose to Mary. And so there's this one, when I did the 54 day rosary novena, which I did a video about for Ascension, it basically says when you do a rosary, you're weaving a crown of ro a crown out of roses for Mary. And so we kind of just got like a fake bouquet of roses. And um, for every Hail Mary, I had them just place down a rose for Our Lady. And it's cool because doing this little novena, every mystery was a different color rose. So it was like joyful was white roses, um, luminous was yellow roses, sorrowful was red roses, and then the glorious was like all the color roses. So it, it's kind of it, just something for them to do, some visual for them that they can learn. Well, and along with the visual on the internet, on YouTube, for instance, there's people praying the rosary. So you've got the CFRs, for instance, that they have a video. And so sometimes even your kids seeing other people pray the rosary, it helps reinforce like, hey, this isn't just our family's thing. Like this is part of the church. This is a beautiful tradition that's been handed down to us. And so to the extent that you can also have your kids pray the rosary with other families when other families come over, that's also a beautiful witness too, to see yeah. it's not just my parents, it's, it's other families are also part of this, this culture and this, this honoring of our Lord through Mary. Um, again, even if it's just a, a decade, doesn't need to be the whole rosary, maybe after dinner, we pray it together and then the kids run free, the parents actually get to Yeah, and then as they get older, talk. I mean, I like personally, I like a scriptural rosary where every bead has a scripture verse that goes with that mystery because that's the point is to meditate on the mysteries of Jesus, like his life. And um, as they get older, teaching them how to listen, how to close their eyes, how to pray. But we know when you have little ones, that ain't happening, okay? <laughs> so you can teach them to sit still for, you know, however long it is. But... But it's really just the act of showing our kids like this is important to our family, that Jesus is the center of our family. And it's not about doing it 
perfectly. It's not about, you know, what you said, levitating and having ecstatic union with Jesus yet. So Maybe they will. Maybe they, <laughs> Maybe will. they will. Maybe they'll have visions. Who knows? They could. What I've struggled with as well is I love the rosary as a personal, quiet devotion that yeah. I do on my own time. And uh, But realizing like, hey, I need to model it for the family. Like I need to model it for my kids. So if I really want, I can do the rosary on my own time, but then there's also got to be leading the family in, in a chaotic rosary. But how important it is as parents to say, like, stop and say, hey, this is important and let's take time for this. October is the month of the rosary. And so we want to pray it as often as we can. And months like these are special times where we're reminded and we can get back into this devotion or get into it for the first time and really model it for our families. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be every day. It could be once a week. It could be a couple times a week. You're growing. I mean, we, we kind of switch between devotions, between the rosary, between um, the Divine Mercy Chaplet, between reading scripture. So we kind of change it up. Um, we try. We're not perfect. We try to have a family devotion time, which we always need to kind of get back into. But during this month, uh, the month of the rosary, it's, yeah, it's just time to remember like, okay, we got this, we can do it. And we even teach our kids like the rosary is a weapon against the devil. So Not instead yet. of hitting your brother and sister, whack the devil in the face, you know, and if the devil doesn't like it, he can sit on attack. Ow. Like, comment, subscribe. If something has helped your family in praying the rosary, please leave a comment because we are all Help walking us. together. As yeah. Father Josh Johnson says, on our walk towards eternity. So from all of us at Ascension, God bless. And if the devil doesn't like it, he can sit on attack. Ouch! Sit on attack. Ouch! Sit on attack. And if the devil doesn't like it, he can sit on attack. Sit on attack today. Cause we're so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart.